YouTube, it's Jen and Brad, and we're here for our weekly update. And as always, let's start with the numbers. I am five feet four inches tall. Last started this journey at 262 pounds. Last week I was 185, and this week I'm 187.2 for a 2.2 pound gain. Six feet tall, starting weight 320. Last week I was 234.2. This week I'm 234.2 for no change. So. Um, we are four years ago uh, as of Monday four years ago we started this journey with our pre-op two week pre-op diet um, and here we are we had well this week we had Nikki Hona came and visited and stayed with us and so we she came in Friday and left Tuesday so we did a lot a lot of eating out um, and Brad and Nikki ran a half marathon. And so, um, in support, being a team player, I helped them carb load the night before and I helped them have <laughs> a very big breakfast the next day and like the, the post-race nap. So I kind of felt like I did the marathon with them. Yes, I didn't did. actually do the running part, but you know, there's no I in team. There's a me in their team so um so brad ran 13.1 miles which is why all of our eating did not uh negatively affect his weight me on the other hand not so much so but that's not how we normally eat it was just showing her all the delicious food that we have around here and so i'm hoping i can buckle the shit down but um, we went to the doctor today, the Lapian doctor. Yes. For our, uh, we go twice a year to get fluoroscopy since I, um, I had a slip back in 2014. Mm -hmm. So um, in an abundance of caution, every six months we do fluoroscopies to make sure there's nothing wrong. Um, and we did our blood work. Brad only did partial blood work because he didn't want to pass out again. I did full on blood work. Um, everything came back great for both of us except for our cholesterol, but our cholesterol has always been bad. What else? The placement of our bands and everything was perfect. Yes, everything looked good. So, and we love our doctor. What about this upcoming... Oh, so he did his race. He did his race in under three hours. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. And we've already signed up. We just got to go online and get the official time. I have the picture of it. But... That doesn't mean that's when I crossed over because I, I wasn't in the beginning. I got the text of when you crossed. I oh, got... I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know? I no. don't know why I was signed up for the text. Because you signed me up, probably. Oh, Keep talking. Okay, now. sorry. Um, but we signed up for three more races. We are doing not... The 10K and the 2 Right. Case. Not this weekend coming up, but the following weekend we're doing a... I got a 10K on Saturday. And, and I have a 5K, 5K that Saturday. And then the next day, we both are doing a 5K. Mm -hmm. And then we also signed up for a 5K in February. So, like, Brad runs year-round, but I will only run outside in the wintertime. Yeah, no, I only run outside, like, November through March. Right, but you also jog on the treadmill, is what I'm saying. Yes. So you'll jog year-round. Gotcha. But you'll only race in the winter, and I'll only... I'm not, I can't jog in a straight line, so treadmills don't really work for me, because I, I am just an accident waiting to happen, so I like jogging outside, so like December through maybe March, that's all the jogging I'll do, so, um, so that's the races so far we have signed up for, and hopefully we'll do a few more, and what else? Not too much with me. The holidays are coming up. I can't be 187. Like, I can't. I'm going to keep weighing all this week until that 187 goes away because that is not okay. Because, you know, we want to. It's a lifestyle, it's not a diet, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, on Christmas, we know we're not going to be good. So, we need to rein it in now so that way we don't stack damage upon damage. Anything else? Not for me. I am so proud of you. I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know that you understand how, <laughs> like, we went to bed that night, and I was just like, 
in awe that you ran friggin' 13.1 miles. And Well, I'm more appreciative that Nikki Hona came Nikki down and ran it with me. She was my inspiration to get me through that whole race because I was like, I'm going to die. And she, she would just stop, turn around. She did this sort of fake thing where, you know, she would slow, you know, walk, just, just straight. I'm like, oh, my God, I know she's stopping to keep an eye on me, make sure I'm okay. And I really appreciate it. She, she could have finished that race probably half an hour to 45 minutes ahead of me had I not been slowing her down. But she was amazing. And she's so. just, just the whole time. We had so much yep, fun with she's her. She's fantastic. I'm just so grateful for... So anyone who just, you know, has the space, I say just reach out to her, say come stay yeah. with me for a couple of days. If you want to it run is so races, worth it. just call her up Yep. or reach out to her on Facebook or Instagram and say, hey. Best house guest you could ever have. Oh my God. Okay. So most people, like she was like the reverse hotel. She came to stay at our house washed our sheets and left us fancy uh, She would lotions. do my laundry. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> okay. In fairness, we didn't ask her to no. do the laundry. I had stuff in the dryer and she went to do her own laundry one night and folded our laundry. We do not yep. ask our house guests to do our laundry. Um, so don't think like we're those kind of bastards. We're like, <laughs> here, we're going to invite you over and we're going to give you laundry. We're going to give you chores. No, that's not no. how we work. But I'm just, I feel so fortunate you know, we've met some amazing people on this journey, yep. and I just, you know, and I, I had a friend asking me about the weekend, and they're like, oh, so how did you meet Nikki? And I'm like, yeah, you know, you don't want to say, I, I met her on YouTube, because then you just sound like a crazy person, um, but she was fantastic, and a few things, number one, Ashley Grills is on day one of her pre-op diet, she's going van to sleep, I am so excited for her, I'm I'm jealous that she gets to have the sleeve. I am not jealous of her pre-op diet. It just, to remember the two weeks of a pre-op diet, that was awful. And her channel is so cute. The channel name, What's Up My Sleeve. Love it. So I'm hoping, Ashley, you make videos every week because I miss, I miss watching you. And um, I don't know if Pete's watching. Pete, uh, Pete, he's the guy in Canada that won our Beast Mode t-shirt. Mm -hmm. He had a paniculectomy oh, yeah. done and is recovering and it's he's the one that inspired me to do weightlifting mm -hmm. and so like for the next like month he can't lift any weight so I feel your pain. Um, hopefully they give you some really good drugs and you know you can use that in the mm -hmm. beginning. Um, but yeah, so not much else. Hope you're feeling better, Pete and. Hope we can do a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's it for me. Okay, well then we hope to see you next week. We hope you all are big losers. Kick some fat asses. We love your faces. And reach out to Nikki Hona and ask her to stay at your house because I'm telling you. <laughs> it was fun. Yep. And we will be there. We'll be there early next year, Nikki. You can't get rid of us. However, I'm not going to do your laundry. So no. Sorry. Nor do you want her to. Yeah, nor do you want me to. Okay, have a great week, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.